Hello everyone, welcome to two-factor authentication course. In this video, I am going to show you how to implement the two-factor authentication service in the web application integration. I hope you guys have seen my previous videos how to develop the two-factor authentication service and then what are the DB schema changes are required and then how to enable the 2FA in the auth server. So if you guys have not watched those videos, those videos links are given in the description section. So please watch those videos. So in this video, I am going to explain you how to integrate the 2FA in the web application. So basically, we are going to collect the two-factor code in the form. For example, after the login success, if the user enable the 2FA, then we have to send the 2FA code to the end user by using email or SMS. Once they receive the 2FA code, the user has to enter the code in this form. Suppose if the user does not enter the, I mean, not enter the code, for example, he doesn't receive the 2FA code, they can avail this option, recent code, by using email or by using SMS. And also the code has some expiry time. In this demo, I set it as the expiry time as two minutes. Suppose if the two minutes has been expired, after then user given the code, then I am saying invalid code, okay? So this is the JSON response we received from the auth server. Suppose the first line after success the Ajax request, the first line is if it is a 2FA enabled, yes, then I am setting email 2FA URL, mobile 2FA URL and verified 2FA URL. So these URLs will use to send the 2FA code and then verify the 2FA. I am setting all these URLs in the session storage because suppose if the user does not get the 2FA code, they can avail the recent option so that I am setting these session storage values and also I am setting access token and refresh token in the session storage because once the 2FA has been verified we have to take this access token and refresh token from the session storage and we have to set it in the local storage and then if the SMS I mean the default type the default 2FA type is an SMS I am taking a mobile 2FA URL as a 2FA URL. Otherwise, I am taking a email 2FA URL as a 2FA URL. The variable name, the 2FA URL, is going to be used as to send the 2FA code. So here, the last line, send 2FA code method. The send 2FA code method, I am just passing the 2FA URL. Once the 2FA code has been sent, in the callback response, I am showing a model. This is the method to send the 2FA code. So this is the Ajax request. I am just passing a 2FA code URL. After send the 2FA code, I am getting a 200 OK response. Once the 200 OK response, I got it, then I am calling a callback method. Suppose if any error uh, occurred while sending a 2FA code, I am showing an error in the login screen, like unable to send the 2FA code, please try again. Suppose if the user choose the recent option like send email, I mean resend a code by email, then I am calling the same method send 2FA code. But in this case, I am getting a 2FA URL, the email 2FA URL from the session storage. I am calling the send 2FA code method. Suppose if the user click the send SMS link, I mean resend the code by using SMS, then I am calling the same method send 2FA code but this time I am getting a 2FA URL for mobile. Okay, if the code has been sent successfully in the callback method, I am showing a success message like uh, if it is an email then your code has been sent to your email ID. If it is a mobile, your code has been sent to your mobile. Okay, and also I added the click event function for verified 2FA code. Once the user receives the 2FA code, they need to enter the 2FA code in the text box. After that, they sh should click the verified button. So once the user clicks the verified 2FA button, I am calling a method verified 2FA code. This is the method verified 2FA code. 
so here i am taking a verified 2fa url from the session storage and adding a 2fa code from the text box once the code has been verified then i will get a 200 ok response in this case i am getting access token and refresh token from the session storage and setting into the local storage and then i am redirecting into the permissions.html file otherwise i am showing an error like invalid code please try again in the error cases i hope you guys are seen my previous videos how to develop the 2fa implementation in spring boot application so if you guys are not watched the video please watch that video in that video i explained how to create the 2fa system and how to send the sms and how to send the email everything so after you develop those microservices you can provide the url in the web application to integrate the 2fa rest api and then the web application now i'm going to show you the demo how the 2fa code has been worked in the web application all the services are running in my machine the authorization server and then the resource server and then the web application server and then also the two-factor service okay everything is running in my machine okay you can see it here this is the resource server and then uh, this is the web application this is an authorization server this is a two-factor service application so everything is running in my machine now this is the authorization server to get the OR token. Now I can able to get the token here. So look at here in the token 2FA is enabled as yes and then the 2FA default type is SMS. So now I am trying to log in by this username amrisoranvail at gmail.com in the web application. I will receive a SMS with the 2FA code. This is the web application I developed here now I am going to give a password so after I click the login button the auth server I am making a call if the username and password is correct I will get a response from the auth server if it is a 2FA is enabled for this user or not so look at here I got the two-factor authentication form here here I need to enter the 2FA code and also I set the default type as sms to send the 2fa code so i received the 2fa code to my mobile so look at here i received a code this is one hour before i got it and then this is the new code 4319 i received okay now i am going to enter this 2fa code in the web application form Four three one nine. Suppose if I provide any invalid code, I will get a response like invalid code. Please try again. Assume I don't. I did not receive any code so far. So I am going to avail the option once again. Recent code email. Now I will get a code in my email. I am clicking a recent code email link. So look at here. Your code has been sent to your email ID. Also, I received the email from the two-factor authentication service so look at here your two-factor authentication code is 1306 same like i can use this recent code option as a sms also here your code has been sent to your mobile now i received a code once again from the twilio so look at here this is the latest one the 2fa code is 2633 now I am going to provide the code here 2633. Once the it, it is a valid code, then application will redirect into the permissions.html file. Here the user can access the application. Suppose if the user not only giving the username and password, if the user's 2FA is enabled, so we have to ask the user provide the 2FA code. If the 2FA code is valid, then we are allowing to access the application to the user. This is the GitHub link. You can download my source code for two-factor authentication development. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you very much.